Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It's clear that an election year has begun. We all know that immigration reform is long overdue, but this hearing demonstrates that my Republican colleagues are in full-blown election mode, turning to scare tactics and fear-mongering. They entitled this hearing a threat to every community, a suggestion that those who are crossing our border are somehow all violent criminals. And yes, we need to improve our immigration system, but the best way to tackle illegal immigration is to create a wider path to legal immigration. Suggesting that immigrants are some kind of threat to our society is nonsense. It only serves to further harmful and dangerous stereotypes, and Republicans are once again putting politics over people, refusing once again to work with Democrats to fix our broken system. Immigration reform is essential. Our economy relies on the innovation and hard work that immigrants bring to this country. We need more legal pathways to citizenship and a more efficient process that reduces the strain that we see at the border. And while I reject the notion that all immigrants at the border present a threat to our communities, we do need to make sure that our Border Patrol is adequately resourced so they can focus on the actual security threats that they may encounter at the border. But because House Republicans have failed to put forward anything resembling realistic immigration reform that could become law and really make a difference, they're now focused on impeaching the Secretary of Homeland Security. And this is nothing but a waste of time and is being done purely for political revenge. And this committee has broad jurisdiction that's essential to our economy and lowering costs for consumers and ensuring the health and well-being of Americans. We tackle some of the most complicated matters, healthcare, energy, and the environment, telecommunications and the internet, and consumer protection. But what this committee does not have is jurisdiction over, over border policy. Using this committee to smear President Biden's response to issues at the border, I think is a blatant attempt to distract from the work that this Congress has failed to get done under Republican leadership. The Republican le leadership so far has refused to reauthorize the Pandemic and All Hazards Preparedness Act, failed to act on pipeline safety reauthorization, and failed to provide our public health institutions with the authorities they need to help alleviate harmful drug shortages. I know that the committee has worked on this. I'm not suggesting that our committee leadership hasn't worked on it, but the, the bills get come out of here and then they don't pass the House. They don't get up, put on the floor, even when the bills are bipartisan and everybody on the committee has voted for them. And these are some of the issues that we should be focused on, addressing together, but instead, the Republican leadership continues to cave to the extreme elements of their party who have absolutely no interest in governing. And House Republicans' extreme approach to fixing the issues on the border, I think, are cruel, inhumane, and ineffective. They've also shown no interest in working with the Biden administration to solve the problem. Time and time again, Republicans have ignored the Biden administration's request for resources to secure the border in a serious and responsible way. President Biden has asked for funding for 1,300 more border agents, 1,000 more Customs and Border Protection officers to focus on uh, countering fentanyl, 1,600 more asylum officers, and numerous more support staff and resources to humanely and effectively address migration along the southern border. So if my Republican colleagues are really interested in keeping Americans safe and our community strong and our constituents healthy and our economy growing, they would stop trying to slash the very federal agencies and programs that keep our country safe, healthy, and prosperous. So again, uh, the House Republican leadership is not interested in bipartisan solutions to this issue. They prefer scare taxes, tactics to deflect from their failure to govern. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back the balance of my time.